Good. Okay, we're gonna put the gasification boiler to the test today. We've been burning tires. Here I have uh, half of a car tire, about a 16 inch rim. And uh, we're gonna throw this in our gasification boiler. And uh, we'll give you, a, give you a look at the actual gasification process now. Uh, while we're waiting for that to kind of ignite, uh, we've got uh, about 80 psi worth of head of steam here, so we're we're gaining pressure. Um, it's an ongoing process for us, but this was designed basically so that we could burn tires cleanly and effectively without uh, pollution and gain some energy from it as well. So we can kind of. Uh, take a look maybe at the gasifier here see what she's doing at the moment and she's not even really hot yet we'll let that tire get going and see what she does at the moment no smoke no smell we should have to pull back maybe if you get that vapor trail that heat trail on the tree there you can see the uh, the heat trail but uh, so far, no smoke. No burn hot. We'll uh, give it a minute or two, and then we'll look inside the burn chamber again. Show you the uh, reaction. Still no smoke. So far, no smoke. No smell. Steady as she goes. We should have something going in here. Let's take a look in the fire chamber again here real quick. Oh yeah, we've got that tire on fire. Burning black. Catch that? I'll give that to you one more time. Let's step back. Ready? There you go. Black folks. smoke. Take a look at there. Black smoke. Burning Lots tire. Of flames. Nothing. You look up top. Now we might have a little, oh, bit. little bit now. We just opened it up here, but, but there it goes. Uh, there back we up. go. We're back to a uh, crystal clear. You can pull back so that they get a good, good shot of that. That's about as aggressive as you can get right there. It's about the hardest test that you can have. Uh, don't try this with your home gasifier. Got a nice crystal clear blue sky. I do see just a bit there. So we may have to make a few adjustments. We may not be at uh, hot enough temperature yet in the gasifier. But it looks like she's clearing up there. Yeah. Not advisable to open the door, by the way, when you're uh, burning tires. But we just wanted to show you that we're not playing video games here. So uh, that's actually on fire, burning at a full burn. And right there, we uh, you can see the stack is is gone clear now. Pull back to the tree in the background or blue sky just to kind of get a good uh, good view of that. Once again, that's half a car tire. Sixteen inch rim. Looking for my temperature probe. It's my electric tester. Look right up here too. Get real close into that stack so they can look straight up at the blue sky. Try to find a nice patch of blue sky. Straight up. You're looking right straight through that. That is the contrail burning a car tire. Okay? That's true gasification. Now let's take a little quick temperature of our discharge. Right now, 294 degrees discharge. Very effective, very efficient boiler. That's the hottest point, 305 degree discharge. Temperatures inside the uh, afterburner chamber, secondary reaction chamber. Should be pretty hot. We may smoke, so I'm not going to keep this open too long, but there we go. 
Um, not too shabby. No smoke. So we're real happy with the progress so far. Unfortunately, we're out of tires at the moment. So we burned all the all the scrap tires we could find, and uh, uh, we're we're very impressed with the performance. Nice blue skies, and we've developed uh, quite a good head of steam that burns extremely hot, very efficient. We are now now pushing 100 100 psi. So we added. Uh, 10 pounds of steam pretty much immediately and at 100 uh, psi I believe the uh, the water temperature is about 350 degrees and our discharge temperatures are literally below the water temperature and the only way that happens is because that's not possible with the exception that these heat exchangers there's a lot of heat coming out of this because this is not on a level surface so there's a lot of of additional heat coming out of these uh, uh, heat exchange tubes and when we have this all finished this will be sucking air through here and extracting a lot more heat that motor will be pulling air through this and our discharge temperature should be even maybe a hundred we're hoping to get it down to 100 150 or or lower so that we can actually see the vapor trail of nothing but steam coming out the top crystal clear should dissipate but right now it's hot enough there's no steam no contrail nothing and that tire is probably uh, at this point completely consumed it's probably been five minutes and uh, I have six a feeling that minutes. six minutes okay we'll take another look here nope she's still still going strong folks a lot of black smoke a lot of flame and now, of course, we open that up, which we don't advise, but there you are. She puffed a little bit and then right back to a perfect crystal clear. Uh, don't try this with your uh, home gasifier, your home wood stove. This is uh, built for this. We've designed this to uh, for this specific purpose. Uh, we're probably at this point generating two, uh, 1.75 to 2 million BTUs while we're burning that tire. And uh, we probably can burn, I don't know, probably five tires an hour at this rate with uh, this particular system without, without any trouble. I might go uh, as high as 10 an hour, but at the moment we've been feeding it at a rate of about five, five 16 to 17 inch rims an hour. And uh, no smoke, no smell, very efficient, almost no ash. And of course, then we, uh, we're recycling the, uh, the wire from... Uh, on the tires as well. So uh, I guess we'll conclude that with this video, but we're real happy at the moment and uh, looking forward to finishing this project. In the next couple of days, we're gonna put the final uh, outer panels on it, complete the insulation process, and we'll start to use our, our heat exchanger there, which should uh, substantially increase our efficiency and also increase our input temperatures which will give us a cleaner burn even yet. So hopefully when we open that door, we don't have any exhaust gases whatsoever. But um, uh, we're gonna go ahead and close the video off. But once again, we'll give you one more shot of this. That is a tire. It is burning and it is burning it cleanly. See that? That's called going green. That's all going green right there. There's a solution to tires. There's nothing left of them. 100% is recycled. We're not chewing them up, turning them into mulch that's there for years and years and years. Doesn't degrade, has no use. We're, we're turning this into energy. We're using it and uh, we're not landfilling this stuff. This is the, this is the solution for, uh, for tires. And uh, each, each, uh, each and every single individual, uh, you know, uh, tire repair place should actually have one of these and generate their own electricity, sell what they don't need back to the grid, and um, uh, keep the environment clean. Why landfill this? Why, uh, why chew this stuff up and then distribute it all over God's green earth? This is, the, this is a better solution. There is basically no waste left over. There's nothing that remains of a rubber tire uh, that isn't really recycled. Uh, very, very minimal ash. Uh, 
you know, we might have a, you know, a quarter of a cup of ash left over when we're all done with this process, and then the steel, we recycle that. So, so far we're happy. It's doing what we built it to do, and uh, we're not even completed yet. So it's just going to be better once we get this all insulated. We're losing an incredible amount of heat here. You know, exposed surfaces running three, four hundred degrees. Um, uh, sometimes more than that, but at least three, four hundred. See here. Yeah, 432 degree temperature losses right there. Temperature losses uh, near the top of the primary burn chamber in excess of 632 degrees. All this is exposed and it won't be. And all this, uh, the heat exchanger itself will be yeah, we're 300 degrees, 301 discharge. And our water temperature at the bottom of the tank is 320. So we're literally discharging air. Uh, the exhaust temperature is below what our water temperature is. 340 water temperature. Two hundred and eighty-five discharge temperature. Extremely efficient machine. Um, we couldn't be happier. Put a lot of time and effort into it, and it looks like it uh, should pay off. Five years we've been designing and building this, and uh, so far this is uh, this is what uh, this is what we want. What do we got there? Steam. Yeah. maintaining 125 tank is completely full so we're discharging a little bit of saturated steam now we're at 125 incredible amount of power in a tire it's a shame to waste it we have our little uh, generator project which is way too small to dissipate this amount of heat in later uh, videos we're gonna have a two or a four cylinder that's gonna put out maybe 20 30 horsepower hook that up and uh, we'll really generate some uh, So that was about three PSI worth of uh, 
steam and she's recovering very very quickly we're about 120 it's above 120 there's 125 that line there if you get a close up but um, it didn't drop much pressure we're running right here about a half inch uh, barb and uh, half inch valve About 120, 115, 120, somewhere in between. It's a lot of power in a tire. Let's take a look and see what, it's, uh, what it looks like. Okay, almost gone, almost disintegrated. Basically a hunk of uh, glowing metal at this point. You can see the, the, the don't melt your camera. Very hot, still getting some smoke, but pretty much at this point she's completely incinerated. Uh, what's the time on the video? 16 minutes, 30 seconds. So, there we go. Um, once again, no smoke, no smell. No tire. No tire. <laughs> That'll do it. Going green.